Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm doing my 24 week pregnancy update. This probably won't be a super long update because I feel like there's not a ton that's happened between this one and the last one, but there's a couple things I wanted to keep you guys updated on and so let's get right into this video. So with my last pregnancy, I kept you guys very updated on my weight, and this time I have not weighed myself like hardly at all. Even when I go to my midwife appointments, she's not having me weigh myself. I've just been not worrying about it at all. I've just been eating what I feel like my body's asking for, and I already know I gain a lot of weight during my pregnancies, so I just haven't worried about it. But I was curious what I've gained so far, and I weighed myself, and I'm at 176. So normally, when I'm not pregnant, I'm 140 or lower even. I start, I probably start off before I got pregnant with this one at like 135, 140. So, gained quite a lot so far. <laughs> I will probably end up at 200-ish before the end of the pregnancy. I gain about 60 pounds during a pregnancy, so that's not shocking to me. But I've definitely been, been able to tell that I've been putting on the weight. It just, my face fills out a lot more. I feel like I get jowls, <laughs> is what I like to call them. My neck and chest and just everywhere fills out. And you can really tell, like, it's funny when I watch videos from when I'm pregnant and videos when I'm not, my face, there's such a huge difference in the leanness of my face pregnancy or not. It does take a little getting used to putting that much weight on and I generally when I'm not pregnant it's pretty effortless for me to stay thin. I have high thyroid so I just lose the baby weight in about three months. I'm back to pre-pregnancy weight, pre-pregnancy even before my first pregnancy and I've been very blessed in that way and so then when I gain 60 pounds during a pregnancy it's like whoa that's a lot and it it takes me a while to adjust to being heavier and still feeling like I'm beautiful and attractive that's something I've been struggling with a little bit now lately because I am starting to put on the weight after within the next couple weeks I will probably have gotten myself used to the idea of having this much weight now and I'll be back to feeling like a beautiful pregnant lady <laughs> but they're just normally in each pregnancy there's a short little time where when I've gained about this much I'm like whoa that's a lot of weight and I like freak out about it a little bit for a while and then I kind of get over it so that's kind of in the stage I'm at with my weight I use the pregnancy baby center app which is just really fun to see all the stats and everything and how big they say the baby is they I think they said at 24 weeks the baby's the size of an ear of corn they say the baby's 11 and three quarters of an inch long and they weigh about one and a quarter pounds, which that seems so big to me. Like, this baby's already getting so big, which is not surprising though, because I can feel them a lot. They're so active. The kicks are just getting bigger and bigger, like it almost seems like every day. And a lot of times the kicks are big enough, and especially if they're in the right spot, you can see them from the outside, which is really cool. But I can pretty much feel them all the time now. They're very active. I can feel them kicking most of the day. In the morning, as soon as I wake up, it seems like the baby wakes up too and they'll start like bouncing around and kicking. We have our special little morning time together while I'm still in bed, which has been how it is with my last two pregnancies too. It seems like the morning time is just a really special time between me and the baby where I'm just there by myself, laying in bed, the other kids aren't up yet, and the baby's very, very active and I can kind of communicate with them in a way. It's like, it's always been a special time during my pregnancies. In my last update, I think it was my 20 week update that is where I mentioned that I've been having round ligament spasms, which has been a totally new thing. And kind of in the last week or so, they've kind of stopped. Like, I really haven't had any, like when I roll over or sit up too fast, I'll have like a tiny bit of a, like a, a muscle pull or something, but it's almost not even painful. And it's not really in the right spot to be my round ligament. So I think the round ligament spasms have stopped for some reason, I don't know why because they were like really bad and they were happening all the time and then all of a sudden they stopped so I don't know what happened there but I'm glad they stopped because that's a bit annoying. I'm still waiting on the Braxton Hicks contractions to start. Normally they start for me about 20 weeks or even earlier and I actually really enjoy Braxton Hicks. It's almost like I enjoy feeling that tightening feeling in my uterus. I feel like it's practicing 
it'll maybe make my labor easier in a way. I don't know. I just enjoy Braggs and Hicks. I, I enjoy them a lot. So I'm looking forward to them starting and I'm actually surprised they haven't started yet because I'm somewhere where normally they start pretty early. So hopefully I'll at least get some this pregnancy because that would be a little bit sad if I didn't. I've still been having muscle cramps. I have been taking my, using my magnesium oil. I've been using it, the magnesium oil spray and just spraying it on my legs and then rubbing it in. And that's been helping quite a bit, but I still need to, I need to be, keep, keep doing it because I haven't been quite doing it long enough that it'll help them go all the way away. I've also been having shin splints lately, which has been super annoying. Like yesterday I woke up with shin splints and I had them all day long. And sometimes my hips would even ache, like the same sort of feeling as shin splints. And it was just very annoying. And I don't know what that's about. I. It's probably a magnesium thing as well. My Epsom salts are in storage right now because we are about to move. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be taking Epsom salt baths like every night. I should really go get those because I feel like that would help a lot with the shin splints at least. Lately, I've been having this weird thing where I feel like I have a bladder infection all the time. If you guys didn't know, I've struggled with bladder infections a lot between Demi's pregnancy and this pregnancy. I had gotten kidney stones and my only symptom was bladder infections every single day for like months and months. So I'm really used to the feeling of a bladder infection and I'll just like, a lot of times feel like I'm getting one or I'll, it'll be like a, a really minor one. I'll get that feeling like right after I pee or if I move positions, that just really annoying, itchy feeling that you can't itch because it's inside your bladder. But then whenever I've had my urine tested at my midwife, she's like, no, you don't have a bladder infection. It's, it's not that. So I'm thinking either the baby's pushing my bladder in a really uncomfortable spot and making it feel like I have a bladder infection, or I've had them for so long dealing with those kidney stones that my body just thinks I always have one and it just always makes me feel like I have that feeling, which would be so stupid <laughs> if that was the case. I'm thinking the baby's probably just pushing on my bladder in a bad spot. So hopefully they stop doing that soon because I am so ready to be done having that bladder infection feeling. It's been way too long. So now let's show you guys the bump. So that is it for this 24 week pregnancy update. It wasn't super long. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about what I've been experiencing lately. And like I said, we are in the process of moving, we're getting ready to move. So if you wanna see a lot of exciting content about moving in our new house, make sure you subscribe to my channel and head over to my website and subscribe to my email list. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.